Hey everybody, it's Sharon from Dr. Business Builder. Today I'd really like to talk about comparing ourselves to other people and also how we put down other businesses. We know that some people do that. As far as comparing ourselves to other businesses, well, there's only going to be one number one, right? You may not be number one. And that's okay, isn't it? Right? You can still make money. You can still make a lot of money with your business. You could really be successful. What other success means to you, right? It's different for everybody. But the bottom line is, there's only going to be number one, right? Only one number one. So then, be good. Be really good. But it doesn't necessarily have to be the best. You'll still do great. The bottom line is when we compare ourselves to other people, it really slows us down in our business. You know, maybe you spend too much time on social media looking, what are they doing? What are they doing? You know, what videos are they doing? What are they posting? The bottom line is all of this takes time and energy. And you know, I'm sure that there's things that happen in your life with different businesses. Maybe they didn't you know, say something so nice about you or your business. Honestly, we, were, we waste so much time and energy when we think about these things. That time and energy should be put into our business, what we're doing to make our business succeed. What are we doing today that's going to impact our business next year or five years from now? We know that the failure rate of most businesses, right? It's up there, I think, around 85% of five years, probably even higher. It's up there. The bottom line is, it's okay to compare yourself to businesses to some degree, right? You want to know what they're doing and you want to be competitive with them, right? You should know what people are doing there, your competitors. But don't focus in where it kind of makes you crazy and slows you down, right? We need to be productive in our life. That's the only way that our business is going to succeed is if we're productive and we do things and we're taking action, right? There's no other way to do it. If you're not taking action, you're not, your business is not going to succeed. It's not going to happen by itself. Nobody can do it for you. It's up to you. So when you spend time focused on other things, other people, other businesses, they're getting ahead, they're getting ahead. It's okay that they get ahead, you know? You can still make your own path and be able to really be successful. It'll be a different path, perhaps. That's okay. I've often said that, you know, you can have 10 people in the room. When I started my Facebook group, I said from the beginning, I think my first post was, listen, there's going to come a time that a few of us are doing the same exact thing. And that's okay. It really is okay. I'll tell you why. Because our customers relate to us differently. I can have a customer that relates to me very differently than they would relate to you. They're with me because they like the way I interact and vice versa. You're going to have people that you're going to be, you know, working with, doing business with that relate to you and want to be with you. They're not going to want to be with me, even though we're selling the same products, similar products, similar services. It doesn't matter, right? It really doesn't. That's the bottom line. Just do what you think is right for your company. Do income producing activities and don't worry so much about what other people are doing, what other people are saying. There's no doubt there's people out there that are really crummy, I think, right? They get off on, you know, knocking other people. There's no need for that in my book. There's really not. Um, something when I see it, I try not to tolerate it at all, right? We have no idea what other people have been through. We have no idea what their lives are, what's on their plate. Do they have a sick child, a very sick spouse, a sick parent that they're taking care of? Who knows? Who knows if they're going through a divorce? You really don't know what someone else is going through. So try not to knock them so much, right? Yeah, maybe they did some crummy things. Maybe they didn't play by the books. Just let it go, right? Because it's only going to slow you down. It takes energy, <laughs> gets you upset. And the bottom line is we have so many other things to focus in on in our life. And our business has to be number one, really, if you want to succeed, right? Spend more time worrying about that than on what other people are doing, how they're getting ahead. Like I mentioned before, you may take another path. That's okay, isn't it? You'll get there. Be consistent, put the blinders on, and just do it. Because there's no sense 
living your life where you're constantly worrying about what other people are doing, right? What type of life is that? So if you're doing it, stop. I know with myself, I started some things and I had some people copy me. You know, they actually say that copying is a good thing because it means that they think you're successful enough that they want to copy you. You know, that's one way of looking at it, isn't it? What about the unsubscribes? What about when you have somebody and they unsubscribe? It's not a great feeling, right? But listen, they're making room for other people. You know, the people that really need to be where what you have to offer, right? It's not a good match. Let it go. These are not things that you should be focused in on. What about when you knock another business? Is that necessary? No, it's really not necessary. People are going to do things, like I mentioned, they may not play by the book. Maybe you're a little jealous. It doesn't really matter what's causing it. The bottom line is, we all have something to offer. That's just the way life is. We have a lot to offer different people, right? So, make sure that you're just working on your business a little every day. Be nice to people. Try to help people out. Rather than compete, maybe you can lift them up a little, right? What's the sense of competing? If you think about it, if you were able to lift somebody else up and they were able to lift you up, rather than compete, perhaps collaborate, how much further would you go in your business? Would you go further that way? Or would you go further knocking another business down? Like, you know, having issues with people here and there from another business. You know the answer. You would do better if you actually collaborated with the other person, the other business. Then you would knock them down or them knocking you down. So make sure that you're doing your business every day, as I mentioned. Be consistent. And you're going to watch your business thrive. That's the bottom line. If you're doing it consistently, people know where to find you. And you're showing up and you're being kind, and you're offering good quality information, products, services, why wouldn't your business grow? If it's not growing, evaluate. What are you doing? Are you being as consistent as you possibly could be? Could you be selling another service or product that you're currently not doing? All things to you know perhaps evaluate in your life, you can compare to other people, you see success, but don't knock them, right? Learn from them. They're succeeding. What do they have to offer that you're not offering? But certainly, like I mentioned, don't knock them. Learn from them. And a lot of people are actually, if you ask, a lot of people don't ask, but if you actually ask, can you show me how? Can you give me some information? You may be pleasantly surprised. If they're not willing to give you information, there's going to be a number of reasons for that. Maybe they themselves don't feel very successful yet. They want to get a little bit further, and that's okay. Maybe some people are very competitive. That's okay, too. If it's not them, there'll be somebody else that's willing to help. And by the same token, when it comes time, you make sure you help other people, right? That's how the way the world works. It's a way that businesses can work together. And you're going to make a better name for yourself. You're the guy or the gal that helps others, right? So one of the things I like to do is come out into my garden, if you haven't noticed. And I am so far behind because you see all that green over there in the path. I'm supposed to have it all weeded up, but I'm not. So this video today is about comparing yourself to others and why you probably shouldn't be doing this right? Because it's going to slow it, y you down. You're going to make sure that you're going to work on your business every single day as best as you can. Maybe it's only going to be three times a week. That's okay, whatever your schedule is. The bottom line is that's what you're going to focus in on, okay? Going forward, you're not going to be worried about what other people are doing because there'll always be somebody else trying to do what you're doing or maybe even doing things better than what you're doing. And that's okay. Just do it the way you want to do it make sure it's working and if it's not working you're going to go back and reevaluate and do things a little bit different but you're not going to be knocking somebody because there's no purpose in that 
even though they may have not been so kind to you, doesn't get you anywhere, really doesn't. It may get a snicker here or there at the time that you're saying it from your friends or your colleagues, but in the long run, people will remember how you knock people. So that's really not cool to do, okay? And um, that's about it. So if you guys could, we'll see a couple of other flowers that I actually really like a lot. This is um, mint. I'll go fast now. This is beautiful, huh? I think it's so cool. I've been saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna stake these up, but I haven't staked them up at all. So, um, what else can I show you? Uh, rose. You can see I, I like the garden. I just love being wearing green, and a lot of my videos are gonna have some green in it, okay? Because I think it's really important for well-being. Actually, the studies show. I don't. It's not even me. Studies will show that when you're around green, you do better. You're more productive. You feel better. And that's okay. And remember, you're getting enough exercise, right? That's really important, too. If you're down a little, make sure you're exercising. And what else can I show you? Oh, coneflowers. Pretty nice, right? Woo! These are, like, so small when I got them, and now they're pretty big, so I like them a lot. They're pretty neat. And these are Montauk daisies. They're very popular here on Long Island in New York, but they haven't bloomed. They look like that, but tons of them. This is a hardy... Uh, hibiscus grows down more in Florida than it is up here, but it's an annual for us, so I will plant it. And, you know, we have some annuals here and bee balm that the um, butterflies just absolutely love. And just tons of flowers. It makes me really happy. So, do things that make you happy. Grow your business. Be kind to people. Right? You have one life to live. And make the most of it, okay? So I want to see you guys out there helping each other, collaborating, and not so much knocking yourselves, right? It takes a lot of energy to do that. You know yourself when you get into a fight with your husband or something, so much energy is wasted, right? It's actually really tiring. So imagine doing that on a regular basis, always trying to, you know, worry about what others are doing and what you should be doing. You're doing great just a little bit every day, and you'll get there. And I'm going to end with maybe some statues. All right. I hope you guys have a great day, okay? Thanks so much. Bye-bye.